Six months ago, here in New York City, I made the case that Donald Trump was uh, dangerously incompetent and incapable of world leadership. And the past few days, in the wake of the killing of the Iranian General Soleimani, I think Donald Trump has proven beyond that comment, beyond dispute. The haphazard decision-making process that led up to it, the failure to consult with our allies or Congress, and the reckless disregard for the consequences that would surely follow was, in my view, dangerously incompetent. And folks, in wake of such an enormous uh, escalation that has exploded geopolitics in the region and put the United States and Iran on a collision course, that uh, what would we expect from an American president? Well, what we've heard from what have we heard from President Trump? We have not heard a sober minded explanation to assure the American, reassure the American people that this decision and its consequences uh, were thought through. No level headed words meant to dial down the tensions and to uh, take us off the path of conflict. No press conference or consultation with our Congress. No, what we've heard so far from this president are tweets, threats, and tantrums. All we've heard from this administration are shifting explanations, evasive answers, repeated assertions of an imminent threat without the necessary evidence to support that conclusion. And since this is a president with the history of lying about virtually everything, who has destroyed his own credibility and that of the United States uh, on the global stage, neither the American people nor our allies and indeed, no one around the world seems to be taking his word for it. If there was an imminent threat that required this extraordinary action, that, uh, that we are, uh, we're owed an explanation and the facts to back it up. But the, uh, these matters are of deadly import. And to me, they are unmistakably clear. Donald Trump does not have, let me make it clear, does not have the authority to go to war with Iran without congressional, congressional authorization. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.